thesmartlocal.com Hey guys, I'm Fauzi and I'm at the Ramadan Bazaar 2017. The Ramadan Bazaar has been getting a lot of bad rap recently because of the news that there, there are not a lot of halal stalls here. But I'm here to prove them wrong, telling you that they are actually very good halal food stalls. To try, go and find some of the halal stalls, I have a very special friend. Come, come, come. It's Renee! Now Renee used to be from TSL. Yes. What do you know about halal food, Renee? Uh, that is awesome. I've never been to a Ramadan Bazaar before. Yet. What? Oh, this is my first time. Oh my god, we're prepared to be mind blown. Yes. I think we shouldn't waste any more time. I'm ready to eat everything. Shall we go? Yes. Let's, let's go! go. Taco Dain Dain. Do you know what Dain Dain is? Because it's like halal bacon. It's like a bit like bakwa. It's really like one of the most popular, like most iconic things about Ramadan Bazaar because you can get Dain Dain. Usually on the regular time, it's very hard to find it. So um, you guys can add cheese to your Taco Dain Dain and it's an additional dollar but I think, suggest you definitely add cheese. So we've got the Taco Dain Dain. It's basically like all the things you get in a taco. Yes. But with the Dain Dain in a cute little tiny taco shell with a little sleeve. Like a taco pocket. Cheers. I love the dinding. I thought the dinding would be a bit hard, but actually, it's actually very easy to bite off. So, as you can see, Renee is enjoying the seafood. Now, so this is a grilled seafood platter from Shell Burns. It's only ten dollars, and you get a good like one, two, three, four, five, five items. Very fresh, very delicious. And the cheese and the sauce, oh my god, it's perfect like combination. Yes, look at that. You look at me. I'm just feeling it out with my finger. A bit unglam, but whatever. Lah. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, guys, 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 this is the problem here. It is not only crowded, but. How am I gonna get my ice cream if the line is so long? Just beside the store that actually sells the seafood, they sell Nutella um, soft serve. Uh, the seafood section is called Shell Burns, and the ice cream section is called Ice Burns. So people are queuing. And the line is damn long. Like the store is right there, and I'm here. Happening music, right? We just done. So normal. We are so normal. I feel like the suggestion here, right, is to find many friends Then you all spread your people So come back to one central location in like 15 minutes Then bring all your food and eat Oh my god guys, look at this Okay, so we've got it finally and look at that beautiful oh disclaimer are very messy this day you know and they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand it literally tastes like cold Nutella just out of the jar creamy final review no regrets feeling feeling for it yeah. maybe get one and you share between two people Okay, la. Okay, la. If it's Mason Jar, it's free day. Alright, so we've got the butterscotch uh, float. 
Shall we try this? Renee, you do the honors. Oh my god. Is it good? It's like creamy and cheesy. Eh? Woo! The butterscotch is pretty strong. Yeah, this tastes like the butter beer, so I went to Osaka, right? I had butter beer at uh, Universal Studio Japan. This tastes just like it. got to go, she's got to bounce. I'm gonna have to finish the rest of it solo. Yes, that was an adventure from start to finish. What was your favorite? Oh my god, I think the seafood, the seafood was super good. I did not expect it, yeah. but the taco is a close second. My first time trying this thing. Very nice. How was your Ramadan Bazaar experience? Super good, like I think I will come here every year from now on. All right, say bye. Bye-bye. One, two, three. Go. Oh, and there you go. Renee is gone and I'm back at this alone. Uh, we're gonna check out the next door, so let's go! What I'm supposed to get here is the choco cheese banana. To help me, right? Renee's gone, I have someone else. Look, it's Alison! Hi, Alison! Alison is joining me now! <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna help me try the food and tell me how it is, okay? So we've got our choco cheese banana. It's basically like goreng pisang with, with like cheese and chocolate rice on top. Now, like I said, like chocolate and cheese combination, like one of my favorites. What about you? I have never tried it before. Some of it's with banana. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure whether, how it will taste like that. I think it'll be a mix of like savory, sweetness. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I must say that the goreng pizza is very good. Yeah, they are on point. Because right, it's crispy on the outside and the inside is so soft. <laughs> We've got the russets or like a like handmade, hand cut fries from Katoshka. Now we've got two flavors. One is the sambal cheese. Sounds good already, right? Yeah. And the chili beef. And they look amazing. Like, it's like fresh out of the, the, the fryer and ah. it's very warm. Smells delicious. <laughs> wow! Oh my god, it's damn good. The fries itself mm. is amazing. Wow, oh, this has to be my favorite, eh? You can taste also the spiciness, the kick of the sambal, mm. which is amazing. But then the cheese kinds of like. Doesn't make it too spicy. spicy yeah. hmm. Oh my god. That is good too. I kind of prefer that one a little bit more. Mm. Because I think the sweetness of the sambal. I think that's why I like it a little bit more. This one is spicy but got the beef flavor. Alright, so we've got it now. Uh, the durian is actually around and the ice cream is falling yeah, off. Yes? I will try. This is pretty good! I think because the durian flavor is a little bit like stronger than the chindol, so you don't really taste the chindol. But I think overall it's really a good purchase. So that's it! Uh, we managed to try a lot of food here. Actually, there's actually a lot of other options. I think People just need to be conscious about their decisions when they're finding the food here. Lah. I think for the Muslims out there, if you are you know, very cautious about what you buy, ask the owner. Make sure that they are Muslim owned or they are halal certified. We barely covered the tip of it. Yeah, there's so much more. Yeah, they're all the traditional foods like the like the bade. Or like, like Ramli burger. Exactly, Ramli burger. So, you are spoiled for choice. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this episode, you can like, share and subscribe. You can click our other videos over there. Yeah, and until next time, bye! bye.